Hey YouTube, Nas Rocks here. In this video, I'll be showing you how to hack your Wii, whether you have the red, white, or black model by using Wii Brand Launcher version 9. To get started, you'll need a Wii remote without the built-in motion sensor, and you'll also need a SD card or SDHC. Once you have them both, we can move on to the next step. Take your SD card and insert it into your computer. Once your computer reads it, open it up, and if you have anything important, you're gonna wanna back that up onto your computer. Once you're done backing up your important information, information, we're going to format the card by right clicking on the SD card and tapping format. Make sure the file system is ticked at FAT32 and now you're ready to format your card. Tap OK and give it a couple of seconds to format the card. Once it's done, we could close it down. Now you need to download Wii Brand Launcher version 9. I'll have that link in a written tutorial on my blog and I'll link you to it down below in the description. Once you've downloaded the zip folder, open it up and extract the contents onto your desktop. You should see a folder just like this. Open it up and we're going to launch the Wii Brand Launcher. Once it opens up, you could click cancel on both the windows just like I am right now. And now we need to put the Wii's MAC address into the Wii brand launcher in order to create the exploit. Head on over to your Wii and I'll show you guys where you could find the Wii's MAC address. Navigate into Wii options, tap on Wii settings, and you're going to want to take note of your console version, which is on the upper right hand corner. Mine is version 4.3U. The U stands for America. Now we're going to navigate to the next page and tap on internet. Tap on console information and that's where your MAC address is found. We're going to save this number and type it into the Wii brand launcher. Back on my computer, I still have the Wii brand launcher open and I'll take the Wii's MAC address that I just showed you earlier and I'll type it up at the top of the Wii brand launcher program. On the region, I'm going to select you, but it's going to be different for everybody since I'm in America. So if you're in America, it's going to be you. If you don't know what region your Wii is from, all you have to do is go back into your menu and you'll see your region right next to your firmware version. My firmware version is 4.3 and I'm going to copy it straight to the SD card by checking the little box and now I'll start the process of creating the exploit by tapping on the green letter. Even though the program says that it's not responding, give it a couple of seconds and it will. Once your exploit has been created, we could close down the Wii brand launcher and we need to verify that it actually has been copied to the SD card. Open up the Windows Explorer, tap on your SD card and make sure that you have a private folder and the boot.l file. If they're both there, you can remove the SD card from your computer and insert it into your Wii. Now back on the Wii, we're going to go into the message board and go one day back. You should see the green letter, tap on it, and now the Hack Me installer is loading up. Give it a couple of seconds to a minute, then we're going to press the number one on the controller. Make sure you do have the white controller without the motion sensor. If not, your controller will turn off right now. Once you're prompted, press on the number one on your controller. And here's a quick summary of what we can install and how we can install it, such as the homebrew browser can be installed on my device. BootMe can be installed as well, but in iOS. Now we're gonna tap continue. And with the D-pad, we're gonna go all the way up to install homebrew browser and press A. Go up one more time. Yes, continue and press A again. Now the homebrew browser is installing. Give it a couple of seconds and it will be done. HBB was successfully installed installed, tap A to continue. Boot Me is not really necessary for this installation process, so we're going to tap the D-pad all the way down to exit and tap A. And as you can see, the homebrew channel loaded up perfectly fine. There's no content on there just yet. This is the first part in a three series video, so stay tuned for the next video to come. If you want to exit the homebrew browser, all you have to do is press on the home button, then exit to system menu.
and as you can see the homebrew channel is right there as well so hopefully i helped you hack your wii if i did rate this video up by hitting that like button down below share it so people can see it if you need some help leave me a comment don't forget to subscribe for more videos like these this is nosrox for tech nation peace